This tutorial is designed to show you how Google Classroom automatically organizes all of your files in your drive, which is like your filing cabinet for all things Google. Um, first of all, if uh, obviously you would have gone to classroom.google.com, logged in with your username and password, um, and then you're at your list of classrooms. So first of all, I'm going to go into my test classroom, and I'm going to look at the assignment that I have um, provided my students. So, so far I had given them one assignment, it was an ELA quiz, and I gave each student a copy. Now I'm going to flip over to my drive at drive.google.com, which again I would have logged into with my WCPS username and password. Under your drive, if you scroll down, depending on how many things you have, um, you'll find it somewhere, but there's a folder called Classroom. If you double click on that folder called Classroom, you are going to find a folder for every class in Classroom that you've ever had. I'm going to go into the test folder, so this is, this um, goes with my test classroom in Google Classroom, and once I click in there, it's going to give me um, folders for each of the assignments that I have created. First of all, every classroom has a templates do not edit folder. In here, it will keep a template for every assignment that you've ever given so that you always have a blank copy of it. It will also have a folder for every assignment that you've ever give, given. So you can go in and see the Hatchet Reading Skills Assessment for Lisa, the same for David. Um, to give you a better idea of what this looks like whenever you're using it with students, um, in my fifth grade ELA classroom, again I have my templates, and this is the blank document for every assignment that I've given them this year. And then if I go back, it has a folder for each assignment under which I can find um, all of their work. So if I go under the Newberry, the Group Newberry Project, I will find a document for each of the students, and I can easily go in and look at and edit each of their documents here. So not only can you find the um, assignments by clicking the assignment name in Google Classroom and accessing it this way, but you can also find it in Drive under your classroom folder. This makes it really nice um, whenever you're doing grades and or whenever you're looking back at past work. Um, it also makes it really nice from year to year because you can go in, like I could go to um, my fifth grade ELA from last year, and then I could go under the templates folder and see all of the assignments that I gave last year which could be very beneficial to build from and to adapt for this year. So again that kind of sums up how Google Classroom is um, synced up with Google Drive. Um, again Google Drive is like your filing cabinet so it's very nice to know that you have everything there together.